return. So like you can either get it monthly, depending on which one it is. You can get it quarterly, you can get it semi-annually, and you can get it annually. So What it do YouTube, it's your boy Taj CEO back with another video. And what we're gonna do today is, man, I'm gonna talk to y'all about REITs, man. You know, uh, I got some more investment videos coming for you guys. I know y'all like those um, and everything. Now, um, if you never heard what a REIT is, basically what a REIT is, it's a real estate investment trust. Okay, um, now they, they have a definition. Uh, I'm, all, I'm obviously gonna give it to you guys. This is the definition that they give. Um, basically on Google. It says a real estate investment trust is a closed ended investment company that owns assets related to real estate such as buildings, land, and real estate securities. And so basically y'all, that's basically what uh, the, the definition of a REIT is, but basically um, my own personal definition to like sum that or that, you know, long worded definition up for you guys. It, basically what a REIT is, is just like you investing into a company and they give you money for you putting money into them. So like, I can give you guys a quick example. Let's say one company, uh, for example, we can call them Apple. We can just go with Apple. Uh, so let's say Apple wants to, uh, has a read or whatever, and they pay a monthly. Um, their read is, um, let's just go with $12 just to make, just make it easy. Annualized $12 to make it easier, which will be a $1 a month actually. Um, but also their stock cost is about $20. So it'll take $20, you know, you'll pay to pay them $20 and they'll, they'll give you a dollar each month. So then you can give, you give them another $20. Now they're going to give you $2 each month. Um, so now you you then have given them $40 and now you make it $2 a month. Um, then you get them another, you know, $20 and that's 60. Now you make it $3 a month. Now, the reason why I feel like, you know, REITs are a very good passive income is because man, you don't have to work for it, man. It's like, it's like your own money working for you man it's just like your money's just sitting in your, your money just sits in your bank account anyway like on a regular so you know why not just put it somewhere where you know every month you're gonna get money back you know what i'm saying like i know everybody probably has like an extra 20 dollars that they that they don't really use when uh you know when they get a check or you know like a 20 dollars they spend on maybe food or 20 dollars they may put on to the next pair of shoes or next shirt or you know next hairstyle whatever y'all y'all trying to do you know um but you know just save it you know throw it throw it save it and uh invest in robin hood my link down below basically if you go to my link you will basically get uh free stock and everything so i say go go hit that but basically with another reason why um i, I want to tell you guys about rich is because it's, it's just passive man like you don't you don't have to do anything for it you know and also like the, let's say for example you leave that job you know and you, you don't have any money you just have what's in your savings but if you already had dividends going and you're working a job like eight months and you had your dividend you have built your dividend portfolio to about eight dollars a month you know and you've been like i said you've been working up for like six months six times eight that's 48 dollars i mean you got 48 dollars saved you know just all passive income is better than having nothing when you leave a job you know what i'm saying so at the end of the day you're always gonna have money on you all right guys so basically i'm gonna tell you guys why real estate investing is good now one reason why i feel like it's good is because it's a long-term investment now the reason why i say a long-term investment is good is because one you know a lot of us are younger you know you might be 16 17 18 19 20 whatever but you gotta think 10 15 years from now after you have that money saved up and you keep putting money in there you're probably be like ten thousand twenty thousand dollars something crazy like that and of course you're just not really looking at it. you just putting money in there and then you also make it like a thousand dollars a month you paying your rent with your uh, passive income basically you wouldn't even have to work technically to pay for rent afterwards you know so that's another reason why i say it's like a good long-term investment so another reason why i say basically investing into REITs is good. It's also because you get you get good and good like returns. So like you can either get it monthly depending on which one it is. You can get it quarterly, you can get it semi-annually, and you can get it annually. So monthly of course is every month. Uh, quarterly is four months out of the year, okay? Just know it's four months out of the year. So you know, it could be, it could be let's say March and three, three more months after that, it'll be uh, June and then three more months after that, 
it'll be um, September. And then three more months after that, it'll be December. So like you could do it like that as far as quarterly and then semi-annually um, is basically half of the year. Uh, semi it means half, of course, and then annually is the whole year. So that's basically just getting paid every six months. And then annually is, a, is of course, every year. Um, but also the best, another thing you could do is just reinvest it. So like when you do get that dividend, get that $2, $4, $8, $20, $100, you can just literally just put the money right back in and like basically buy those stocks again. So like you can, if you already have like five stocks of AMJL, for example, or something like that, you could just take the, the money that you made from their re and buy three more stocks with them or whatever, you know what I'm saying? So then you wouldn't even have to put your own money in it after so long. So that's, that's also a great thing as far as dividend investing. The last reason why REITs are good is basically because you become a shareholder. So being a shareholder is good because if you own a majority of the shares, then you then become the owner. And um, if you guys don't know who Warren Buffett is, just look him up. He's basically like one of the richest men alive. Um, basically, he's done plenty of investments in the stocks and everything, and he owns companies now just because he has more shares than everybody else in that company. So, you know, if, if you want to be a company over and probably take over any company you want, just got to buy up all the shares. So, hey, if you want that Nike, <laughs> you're going to have to buy more shares than the person that, that has all the shares in Nike, man, because they, they be having millions of shares. They be having like... 300 million shares in it, man. Like, it'd be something crazy. And you, <laughs> I don't know how you're going to catch up to that. But, hey, you know, go ahead and get started now. Now, I'm going to tell you guys about how I look for my REITs and, like, what I look for in my REITs and stuff like that. So, one thing, me personally, I look for REITs. I look for the highest payout ratio. Now, a lot of people look for dividend yield. And what dividend yield is basically, like, the dividend going up, like, over time. Like, if the dividend yield is, like, 35%, that doesn't mean that the dividend will, uh, will continue you to rise over time um but i really don't care about that i just really want the biggest payout as of right now and i've actually been, just been doing just fine by doing that like to have 400 dollars in a portfolio and make it eight dollars is actually really good i've seen people that have like thousands of dollars and barely even making like two dollars a month you know what i'm saying so it's actually like good and you actually can find like a bunch of different reads for yourself like just doing your own personal research like you guys can um basically what i what i do personally is i go on Robinhood, i'll search up whatever like um like i'll just scroll through them like i'll search up aod and then i'll go all the way down to the etf part click on etfs and then after i click on that um i'm looking through all of them looking through the prices i'm looking through and then like after i look at the price i'm like hmm this is a good price point for me i usually go for like 25 dollars or less because i'm not trying to like put that much money out there just just to make like a, a 30 cent return 20 cent return 40 cent it's, it's, it's not all that good but i mean if, if, if you're making if you spending like 15 dollars or 10 dollars you're making like 50 cent back and stuff like that i feel like that's an amazing return you know 15 dollars two of those is basically like 30 dollars you're getting a whole dollar so you know that's that's actually pretty good as far as um as far as investing and stuff oh yeah and what i also wanted to tell you guys um like i said i was i use dividend.com but when you do use dividend.com and you do search up uh whatever dividend you're looking up it's going to give you the annualized payout ratio now the annualized payout ratio is basically the payout ratio over the whole year it's not it's not monthly for you they don't do a monthly for you already they don't do a quarterly for you they don't do a semi-annually for you you have to calculate it yourself so like for example if you went on a site and you found one that says the annualized payout was ten dollars this, this rarely happens because it's never never ten dollars that'd be crazy but let's say it's ten dollars or whatever um then you basically divide it 10 divided by 12 and then you'll get your answer um, of course so um, and then if you want to do quarterly then you will divide that by four and then you'll get your answer as well but that's pretty much it for this video guys it was just a short video not really too long just to tell you guys about REITs and explain them a little bit to you guys um, I really suggest you guys start REIT investing right now while you're young or however old you are because I'm telling you passive income will be amazing you will love it. I'm telling you, it's just like money every month. It's just by you just not even lifting the finger. It's just, it's amazing. It's an amazing thing. If you guys want any more investment videos, just keep asking for them and I got them coming for you guys. But other than that, that's it for the video. I'll catch y'all in the next one. See y'all later. Bye. So the last reason, so the last reason why real estate investment is, well, the last reason why REITs are, REITs,